So I'm going on a little adventure, um, a road trip of sorts, and I just was thinking as I'm listening to my favorite murder on the way, that might not be the best idea <laughs> to be listening to a murder podcast on my way to a secluded location all by myself, <laughs> but I enjoy it, so there we are. Uh, I just stopped to fill up my tank, and now I'm going to text somebody to let them know that I'm going somewhere, which, you know, would be a smart idea. I used to do this all the time when I was younger. I would just hop in the car and go somewhere by myself. Um, I like being on my own, and I like adventures, and it's just kind of fun but I'm older and I'm wiser and I'm several murder podcasts into my life so you know safety first I'm bringing you along with me to I don't know have a record in case I die no I'm joking um just to you know document maybe if there's an, anything interesting if nothing interesting comes of it, I probably won't even post, but at least I'll have a personal account. Anyway, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to text somebody to let them know. Um, I just, I don't know. When I was younger, I just didn't have much, I, I, I was kind of fearless. And I also kind of had a bit of, what's the word? Arrogance? Not arrogance. That's not the right word. Just you know, I wanted to test fate a little bit. I had a little bit of a danger streak in me and I was kind of like, well, you know, if something happens, it happens and, you know, bring it on. So I don't know. I am not so much that way anymore. So I want to be safe and I want to have everything charged, everything, you know, my car filled up and all the the safety box boxes checked. I have my day bag with me here with all of my safety gear. So, you know, be safe. If you go out, don't be reckless. Don't tempt fate. Um, do what you can. So I am going to head off into the wilderness on my own. I know, crazy, um, but I'm not going to do anything to um unsafe on my own like i'm not gonna go out on a five mile hike by myself i'll do like a one mile tops and maybe even less and i'm just going to um explore a little bit of a new area that i've never been before so yeah um not too far off the beaten path so no worries Okay, well, I gotta get going because I wanna get there and not spend the whole day chatting. So I'll see you when I get there. I'll let you know where I end up. Bye. Okay, um, I stopped at this Bagel 13 place to get um, a little lunch to go. So like a little picnic lunch. Oh, there's someone pulling up right next to me. How awkward. But, um, as I was sitting here, I was noticing that, um, I have this and I don't know if you can see it, but it's like mud or something like fingerprints all over my car. And I've never seen that before. It's so weird. I don't know if you can see. Anyways, I took a picture and I'm gonna post it right here so you can see close up. But I'm going to head off now and get on to where we're going and maybe get so eat some lunch. It's just weird because this car pulled up right next to me and they're sitting in their cars just watching me. So I'm gonna get going. Over metal. Okay, 
first fail. Um, the visitor center where I was supposed to start is closed. But it's okay. We're going to, I have a map now. And we're going to go and try to find our own way. So, here we go. Okay, my map and sense of direction skills paid off and I got exactly where I wanted to go. Um, I'm a little confused because I was told that you had to pay a fee to come in here and do these hikes and trails and everything. So, um, I haven't been in, I haven't seen anywhere to do that. So maybe I'm just getting lucky. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'm taking the hammock trails and we're going to hike some and we are in the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. I've never been here, so I'm trying it out. I'm assuming it's just like most of Florida, but something new. A new scenery you know so and then we're gonna go to the beach I didn't bring like a suit or anything because it's winter and it's cold but I wore shorts so that maybe my crazy white legs could get a little Sun and tan but you know don't want that uh, skin cancer either so we're protected <laughs> okay let's go hike Okay, we took the oak hammock first. It is so nice today. It feels so good. It's breezy and cool and quiet. So it's gonna be nice. I enjoy being on my own. It's nice to know that there's people nearby. Just in case. There's so many ways to go. Sound of the crunching rocks under me is kind of annoying, but I understand it because it probably gets really rainy and muddy here sometimes. So they probably need that to absorb a lot of that so it doesn't get extra muddy and gross during the summer. I'm waiting because that couple that's in front of me keeps stopping for like Instagram photos. What is that? Did you see that? Huh? 
Um, so I'm giving them some space. oak hammock. Now I'm on palm hammock. This one is much longer. It's two miles. So like I'm not gonna go out on a five mile hike by myself. I'll do like a one mile tops. Gotta get my workout in for the day. Should take about an hour apparently. But I'm a fast walker so. So far it's just as beautiful. Just as quiet. So, oh, look at this. I didn't bring my DSLR camera with me, but the potential for rain and the mud, I was like, don't want to chance it, but then I always think, why not? That's why I bought it. Should have brought it. Definitely catching the scent of the sea, which is the best. This is always confusing. Which way is going to bring me home? This way looks better. So I tend to have a good sense of direction. It's something I was blessed with. I got it from my dad, I'm assuming, because I absolutely did not get it from my mom. <laughs> no offense, mom. It says to go this way. this like buzzing noise like bzzz. it was really loud and it was a bunch of bees I wonder if they were making honey I'm getting out of breath oh it's raining now 
This part of the forest is, um, you know, just a little... Rustic. I don't know if I'm on a path. I'm assuming I'm on a path. I'm hoping I'm on a path. Yeah. Haven't seen a stick in a while. Um, this is my view. needs a little um, uncertainty in their life, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now you gotta test your ability to adapt and survive. You know, once in your life, once in a while, you know. Just, uh, this is good, this is good for me. It's nice out. It is raining a little, but the wind and the trees, palm trees is the best sound. It sounds like the ocean. It's very soothing. So I have that going for me. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try and focus now on <laughs> getting out of this forest. And, you know, I'm getting kind of hungry now, so. And it's raining harder now. Okay. Found <laughs> another little friend. You know, if I get stuck here, at least I have friends. Right? He doesn't seem scared of me. Now hearing a lot of loud noises in the woods. It's okay. It's just a deer. I mean, I'm sure it's just, it's just a deer, so. Keep on carrying on. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your weather. what I'm saying. We'll talk later. There really could not be a more comforting and reassuring sight than that. beach um, however we're not gonna go straight to the beach because well a it's raining and B I'm going to take there's this scenic um, drive apparently so I'm going to try that um, but yeah I braved the wilderness and here's the thing about adventures you can't have an adventure without a little uncertainty it's just part of, it's just part of it. Um, but this year, and well, I mean every year, but every year I feel like I'm getting more and more um, comfortable with following my intuition. I feel like I used to follow my intuition really well and things just worked out much better. But I don't know, over the last several years, I lost track of that and I, I like overthink things and blah 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 so I'm trying to go back to my roots and just start 
following my instincts and hoping for the best. And so today was a nice reminder of that and a nice, uh, I guess, lesson or I don't know, experiment in that and um, just following your intuition when there's uncertainty or you're not sure which way to go and just picking what feels right and hopefully it works out like it did for me today. Um, as usual, somebody pulled up right next to me and is curious as to what the heck I'm doing. They're probably thinking that I'm filming their family because their family's right in front of my car. So I'm going to pause for a little bit until they move on. And if I have anything else to say, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I will um, pick this up on our scenic drive. Oh, I'm pretty sure these people are peeing in the woods right in front of me, so I don't want them to think that I'm filming them. Um, that's really awkward.